Hello everyone, I am Srimanti and I am currently working as an ML engineer. So today I am going to talk about log likelihood. What exactly is log likelihood and why do we need that? So first let's come to likelihood. So likelihood of a data is actually a quantity that is often used to compare different models. So what, what do we mean by that? So we have something called um, a likelihood of the data given the model. I know it sounds crazy, but suppose we already have a model and we want a particular data to fit the model. We want to see whether the data is actually in line with the model or not. That is the distribution of the data fits the model or not. Um, we often, what we often do is like we have a data and we try to see whether the model fits the data or not. We try to find a model that fits the data. Um, but here what we are doing is that what is the likelihood of the data given the model, what is the likelihood that the data is generated using the model? So that is what is the likelihood. And we often, obviously we want that the likelihood of the data given the model should be maximum. That, so I mean, if a model actually fits the data, then the, then the, then the probability of the more data being generated from the model uh, has to be maximum. And that only proves that the model is actually, uh, that the data is actually produced by the model and the model fits the data. So that is a different way to think of it. And this is a very important quantity that is often used to compare different models that are trained by different algorithms. So let's consider an example. Okay, so these are two lines. Suppose this is an L2, um, which is a linear regression, which is a linear regression line that fits a particular type of data. And L1 is a, another linear regression line that fits a different kind of data. Okay, so um, if we're trying to use L1 to fit a data that follows the distribution of L2, then the likelihood of the data of L2 being generated by L1 will be very less. Obviously, I mean, suppose the data, like, let's consider the data is something like this. And the other data is something like this. So this data, let's call it D2. And this data, let's call it D1. So if you remember my linear regression lecture where I talked about the how we use, how we find the regression line and how we use uh, the regression line to fit the data. So here is similar. So this, this data D2 is being fit by L2. And this data D1 is being fit by L1. So now if suppose we have a data which is D2 and we use and we have a model which is L1 then the likelihood of the data D2 being generated by L1 is zero, is almost zero because they are almost perpendicular. So it's impossible. Similarly, the data D1 being generated by the uh, model L2 is also, the likelihood is also zero. So we want to find, maximize the likelihood. So likelihood of the data D1 being generated by L1 is maximum and the data of uh, D2 being generated by L2 is also maximum here. So that is our main target. And likelihood often, uh, we often use likelihood um, when comparing different models. Okay, so now comes how do we want to express the likelihood mathematically? Okay, so for this, what we'll need is L theta is often used to um, denote likelihood function. Let's break this down. So P means probability of YI. YI is the target value, target target variable, and XI is the input variable. Um, the, all, all the features that we have, and parameterized by theta. What is theta? Theta is the weight. So in linear regression, you know that we have this is what we have, right? In linear regression, we try to fit. This is the predicted value. Um, so we have some noise. Definitely. And this noise can be distributed in any way. And yi is the value, is the target value that we have um, when doing the linear regression. If you remember this, this part. Yeah. Uh, and theta is the weight for the model. And this xi is the uh, feature um, of all the of all the data points. So m is the number of data points. So remember this formula. This is the mathematical quantity that we use to denote likelihood. 
Um, okay, so now the let's give an example. Let's try to model this noise as something which is generated by Gaussian distribution. I'll explain the Gaussian distribution if you don't know. Okay, so first um, I, I'll go over the Gaussian distribution. So let's refresh our memories. Gaussian distribution, right? So, um, so what exactly is Gaussian distribution? So, if you remember, so this is this is a kind of like distribution where we try to generate data, um, based on a particular probability. So, this is the Gaussian curve. And okay, so how is the how does the Gaussian distribution look like? So the formula for that, like PDF, is uh one upon root over 2 pi sigma square e to the power minus half x minus mu square upon sigma square. Right? So I, I'll go, go into it in detail. So this sigma is the uh, standard deviation. Sigma is standard deviation and mu is the mean of this distribution. So in this case, this the, here we would have the mean and this this would be the standard deviation. Um, so this is how the Gaussian distribution looks like. So we want our noise to be generated by the Gaussian distribution. And then you will see some a brilliant result, actually, which will prove that why we use the maximum likelihood um, in place of minimum loss. So if you remember in linear regression, I talked about that. Um, I said that we were using minimum loss. We were trying to find the function for the loss and then try to minimize that. But in all next like consequent videos, what I'll do is like in all kind of models, what we'll do is try to minimize the loss by maximizing the likelihood. So we'll see why maximum likelihood means minimum loss. Okay, okay. So remember this now, what we'll do is now we will try to model the noise as in the form of this Gaussian distribution. So if you remember just now I wrote a formula, this one, and this is the noise. So we want the noise to be generated by Gaussian distribution. So what what will what would that look like? So that would be like meter transpose x i. So this is the noise. This, this is the like the probability distribution function of the noise. So let's just consider like with, uh, sigma and sigma doesn't have a meaning here. Uh, I mean, we know what it means in normal Gaussian distribution, but here it doesn't have a specific meaning. We can treat it as like a gen general constant. So now we'll see the magic happening. So this, if you remember this one, uh, try to remember this. So now what we'll do is something, uh, something different. So this one, this function that you have right here is this noise, right? This noise, this noise is this function that you have right here. So now we will. So and and, and if you remember this one, this is actually the one that we wrote like right now. The function for likelihood. So now why we'll use log likelihood. Why? It's easier to like differentiate when it's in the uh, log format, and also the variables they are more easy to deal with. So p. So this one would be p uh, probability of y given x i parameterized by theta. I just now said this one. Right, this one. And this would be for all the data points. m is a number of data points. Now we will take the log of this. Log on both sides. constant so we won't take it any further and this one is actually what matters constants we can deal with later because we are anyway minimizing uh, the loss or maximizing the likelihood so it doesn't really matter um 
Yeah. So this one, then log comes this. Let's take it down. You will soon see that it looks very familiar. See this. What does this look like? The least squares function. Exactly. Correct. If you got it, then great. This is basically, now we're trying to, this is the basically the log likelihood, log likelihood function. And this is what we'll try to maximize. Why? Because if you see the minus sign, if you try to maximize this, this is the loss. This is the loss. And this is we're trying to minimize, which means maximizing the likelihood, log likelihood. That's it. So you see the linear regression loss, we get it from here, even though it was like, it seemed that it would not be possible. That is why like likelihood so much matters in our daily lives. Like in all models, you will see that you will always try to get to the uh, maximum log likelihood. In future functions, this is just a quantity that is easier to deal with. I'll also so show in future videos in naive, by, in naive base and in other algorithm classification algorithms, you will see that this is what matters the most. And it's always easy to deal with this. Um, I hope I hope this was helpful and please stay tuned for future videos. Thank you.